Hello Leo, thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for December. I'm not going to date it because I'm a little bit ahead. Welcome Cross Watchers. Thank you to all my subscribers, all the comments. I'm really happy when my videos do really well and, oh no, and I get uh, more subscribers and comments. That's really awesome. So, thank you for that. Please remember when I get to 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to give a deck of cards away, um, a similar to mine, so you can pick a new deck or I can sage and cleanse one of my decks. But it has to be a deck like mine. So I'm going to start with the Earth Wisdom Leo, and the first one for you is Joy26. This is beautiful. So this talks about you're going towards your happiness. I feel like you've kind of raised your vibration lately and you found more of your happiness. You've kind of aligned your soul and it's made you... I feel like you've kind of done some soul clearing where you could have um, pushed away things that weren't positive in your life and you've set boundaries and it's made you more heart happy. Your soul is really aligned with transforming and what you want to bring to you. So that's beautiful. So the next one of the Earth Wisdom deck is Divine Connection. Wow, this is good so far, Leo. So let me find this one. And this is 8, which is an infinity number to me. So let's see for 8. It says... Instead of looking internally for guidance, or externally it says, which can be open to misinterpretation or put you at the mercy of someone else's agenda, focus on strengthening your own connection. So this tells me that you have everything you need within you. She has a lotus flower there, and it's a chakra brace that I believe in there. So if you go to outside people asking them, to advice for what's going on in your life. This card is represented saying that people are going to mislead you. People are going to be false to you. So you have to listen to yourself. So we have the soul right here with the heart. And we have the soul here too. And we have the green which is your heart. So for right now you are you need to focus on yourself. I feel like there's people out there that are trying to cause problems for you Leo. So the next one is rest number 15. So this talks about, it's hard for some people not to be working and they feel bored, but trust me right now, if you're not working, it is because you're soul healing. You're fixing the holes and tears in your aura, possibly. You are fixing the things that people have put on you, I feel. So there's a lot of divine connection in there, a lot of soul transformation, a lot of upgrading your vibration is what I'm seeing. To so those of you Leos who this would apply. And there's no way it can apply to everybody. So keep that in mind. If it doesn't apply to you, then hopefully you know your moon or your ascending sign and you can watch those videos. Alright, so now I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot. And I shuffle all the decks before I turn the camera on. I just give them one more shuffle. So the first one is Cat Magic. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this says that you've been manifesting what you want to bring to you. And this is kind of like karma too. So if you put bad vibes out there, the bad vibes are going to be coming back to you. If you put good vibes out there, the good vibes are going to come back to you. So I feel like um, you're in control of your life. I do see things up here that tell me other people are interfering, that they are causing problems in your life. A lot of people I feel like are putting lies out there um, about some of you Leos, which is crazy. I feel like a lot of you Leos are aware of it. Ones who are listening to your intuition, you know. So people are projecting negative things to other people about you. So Earth Queen, somebody is really opinionated, really um, they don't change. They're predictable. They do everything they do, you can count on. Every response they give you, every interaction, you can read it like a book. You can count on this person, whoever they are, being very... They're rigid, they're opinionated, they're one way, and they're always the same. Very predictable. So then you have Moon. So I feel like something's coming out that was hidden from you, Leo. And it has to do with this rigid Earth Queen, whoever she is. She is, for lack of a better word, I feel like she's lying about you. She's trying to portray 
you as people you are not, or as to people um, things that you're not. So three of fire is you looking to the universe asking why this is happening, why people um, try to knock you off your pedestal, so to speak. And the universe hears you. This card tells me this could also be karma. The universe is watching how people treat you and what they do to you. If people are putting bad stuff out against you, the universe is seeing it and they're taking a tally. I don't understand why people think they can go out and misrepresent other people and cause havoc in other people's lives when the people don't do it back to them and think it's not going to come back to them. And those people don't even realize when the karma hits them because their life is such a disarray mess that they just think it's the way their life is. But that's telling me otherwise. So wow. So this is eight of earth. So this is misery loves company. These are people who do the same thing. So if there's a bunch of people doing a certain kind of drug, this is them. If there's people who are cheaters, this is them. This is a group of people who do the same thing. Misery loves company. And see, it's going over this card, so I feel like a lot of them are trying to cause problems for you, Leo. So the wheel, beautiful. It's changing. The wheel is changing. So the bad karma is coming to the people who brought it to themselves, and the good karma is coming to the people who brought good karma to themselves. And look, at it's going over this rigid queen, too. Ooh, the priest. So again, this says that you have your spear, your paw and the spear. This is the divine protecting you. You have the black cat bass back there, which could be a loved one. But you are supported by the divine. Those of you who are putting positive out in your life and not causing problems for other people, the good is coming to you. I feel like the spots on this is standing out to me, which it never has before. People who... People who are into drugs or cheating, they can't usually change their spots for some reason is what I'm picking up. So people who are involved in that kind of lifestyle um, are making themselves known to you is what I feel. You're aware of what's going on. Wow, the emperor. This could be um, Aries placement, but this tells me that you're kind of um, on a pedestal. You know more than people think you know and I feel like this could be people who are self-employed have their own business but I mean look at this this is major Connie you have the wheel you have the priest and you have the um, emperor so you have a lot going on here and then your first card was cat magic so I am really shocked wow at the uh, just, and the moon, you have the moon. So you have more major arcanas coming out in the tarot cards than you had regular tarot. tarot. So this is oracle, which is direct one answer cards, and this is more explanatory tarot. So this is six of sky. So six of sky is you moving away from the people who want to keep you with them, who are in this kind of lifestyle. Stay with us, bicker with us. Uh, have an addiction. So that's what I feel like. You're moving away from those kind of people. So you have a beautiful new beginning coming to you, Leo. Um, you're traveling. You're going in a new direction. Some You're you're out of there. That's all I can see. You are out of the situation. Here you are removing yourself from these people. Here you are going towards a new beginning. Wow, and it's going to be beautiful for you, the sun. I, can, I shuffle these cards so long, I'm just... Oh, overjoyed at the major arcanas coming out. So this is happiness. This could be Cancer or Leo placement, but you're going towards happiness. As soon as you move from um, your location, you're going to find happiness. And like I said, you've already moved away from these negative people, I feel, and your next step is to move away from them. Right now they're out of your life, but you're getting ready to move out of the area. So this is Grace. So this says that the universe has watched how you have handled all this, how you have handled people coming at you, trying to knock you off here. They're like, they put their opinions on you. I feel like they try and knock you off because they don't like um, where you are. And so negative people don't like positive people who have good lives and good things coming to them. So they try to stop that, which is lower energies. 
So, Five of C say, is telling me that they feel, um, somebody feels like they hurt their pride or their ego. So somebody could be embarrassed, I guess, for trying to knock you off your pedestal and it didn't accomplish. And I feel like they're going to be really hurt when you leave and you go towards your happiness and you're in total happiness, a beautiful new house, it's warm, you're happy, you have trustworthy friends. These, this person is not going to be happy. Their ego is going to be hurt because they didn't treat you better. So six of fire. This is somebody who could be a lead at work. I feel like these could be people you worked with, but I feel like they were all selfish. They were jealous of you. They were jealous of um, who you are. So they wanted to stop you. They wanted to knock you off your pedestal, so to speak. They're selfish. They just take, take, take from everybody. And when you saw what was going on and you stopped it, they got mad. Good for you, Leo. So they're going to have consequences for their actions for hurting you, Leo. The divine pays attention to people who put negative energy out, to people who do not give it back to you. So if you are hurting somebody and it's uncalled for because you have a bad attitude or people don't agree with your lifestyle or you're trying to cover up the cheating drugs you're doing and you're worried somebody's going to go tell everybody, I feel like somebody turned and was worried and talked smack, if you will, about you because they were doing the behavior and so they were scared you were going to go tell people so they went and told other people that you do it. But you don't do it. So this is consequences for this behavior from the divine death. So I feel like a door is going to close for them. Something is going to be taken from them in their life. I don't know what it is, but something, the universe is going to end something for them. That's going to be their consequence. And it's not literal death, because I have a three-card trio that represents death, but somebody is going to notice their karma. Let's put it that way. So Fire Queen, I feel like somebody's going to be mad. They're going to be really mad when their karma comes around. But they did it to themselves. So this could have to do with a lover, a Gemini placement, I feel. There could be um, somebody's mad about their lovers, what I'm seeing. Somebody's very fired up about a lover. Why are you fired up about a lover? They were in denial. There was some kind of denial concerning a lover situation. The cat. So this is a precursor to love coming in. So I feel like for some of you who are on the good path and been doing good, putting good out into the universe, um, good is coming to you. There's the sun again, there's stability, there's abundance. And again, the Leo card for me, this is Fire King. So this again would be pride and ego and somebody righteous. This is somebody deserving, let's put it this way. There's a lot of pride and ego in there that is, like, look at the difference. These are pride and ego and pride being hurt. Look at the difference. So this is the negative Leo who is hurting people in their lives because of whatever issues they have. This is proud Leo. Do you see the difference in the cards? So I can't say enough. Some Leos who aren't at a high vibration are going to get bad karma. Some Leos who are at a high vibration are going to get good karma. And I know a lot of people don't believe in it, but it is what it is. Take what you can use and leave the rest. So again, we have 2 of C coming out. So there's some sort of love coming out. Um, yeah, somebody's attracted to you. Somebody wants to be with you is what I'm feeling. Ooh, so no. You ghosted somebody. So somebody who was attracted to you and saw you as a perspective um, love in their life, you ghosted them. You're like, no, that's not going to work. You just go somewhere else. So you ghosted some people and they feel it. So this is depression. I feel like some people are actually depressed because you're not in their life anymore. For those of you positively also removed yourself away from the negative energy, these people are depressed. And they're fighting. They're fighting because you removed yourself from the situation. So now they're fighting amongst each other. Because they tried to start a lot of drama with you, I feel. And you removed yourself and raised your vibration. And so they're stuck in the lower vibration and they're all fighting with each other. They can't sleep. They're stressed out. They're having nightmares. 
So this makes me think that this person here may have done something that they regret. They may have tarnished um, somebody's name. They may have tried to tarnish somebody's business. I feel like this person did something very bad to cause problems. It could even be legal, is what I'm feeling. Wow. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody was trying to, somebody got really hurt that you ghosted them or they couldn't keep up with you or something. So, yeah. So now I'm going to switch to the Tarot Illuminati for you. So pretty harsh, Leo. So let's see what comes out. Because you got more major arcana. So some of you Leos are doing good, I'm seeing. And some of you are reaping karma. All the Leos are reaping karma. It's either good or bad. You figure it out. The devil. So the toxic energy for you Leos who put out toxic energy, you're going to get it back. It's the way the universe works. So the world. So this is for people who have moved away from the toxic energy. I feel like you are evolving. You're transforming. I see the Leo in there as well. I see um, the, uh, an ancestor um, supporting you. So I do feel like some Leos are moving in a new direction, a beautiful new direction. And maybe that's why these people are stressed out too. So then you have Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is they want to communicate. A lot of people want to communicate with you, Leo. They want to come forth. So let me put it to you this way. If people see an abundance and somebody going into um, a good job, a good lifestyle, these lower energies are going to try and reach out to you to hang on to you. They're going to try and act like nothing ever happened. And here's this. So this is you um, saying, no way. No way. You're not coming with me. Back off. Get away from me. We're done. So, wow, that's amazing. So you see all the wands here, and you see the wands here. So they're communicating. And unfortunately, it looks like you have to go back and remind them of their place with you. That they're not welcome in your life, and they need to uh, quit reaching out. You, you, you're up here and they're down here. So I do feel like this is a bunch of lower energies coming at you, Leo, where you're going to have to defend yourself. So the emperors came out twice. So I feel like a lot of you have that emperor boss attitude where you are your own boss and you're not going to let anyone take from you a lot of you so the hermit this is virgo placement this could be pertaining to cuspers some of you that are born um, on the day it's the three day grace period it changes from leo to virgo and i believe on the virgo yesterday the leo did come out as well so this is Purity for those of you Virgos who are honest and you live in the righteousness of telling the truth. Um, I feel like clarity comes to you really fast. I see you have a lot of angels and ancestors around you protecting you. And the moon, I feel like, um, again, something is being exposed to you. You're finding out information from what lower energies have tried to thwart for you. So look at this Virgo, you're going towards your happiness. You are, or Leo I guess, this could be for cuspers. So the Ten of Cups is coming to um, people. So Seven of Swords is again the sneaky people, the lower energies are trying to take from you, they're trying to cause problems. So when you're happy, they're going to still be hanging on to the energy and trying to thwart you for some reason. I don't understand how negative energies can hang on to jealousy and um, payback or vindictiveness for so long. Repent. Repent for what you've done and move on. So Ten of Wands. They're finally going to move on. They're finally going to get their wands together and move on. So I feel like they're going to give it one last sneaky and then they're going to move on. So Five of Swords, they're really jealous, they kind of, they lie a lot, they, they, they lie, they're jealous. So they're coming out a lot. So Eight of Swords, they feel stuck. Some people who are 
trying to put negative in your life, they feel stuck and trapped in their own mind. And this could also mean that if somebody, some of these lower energies, if they did anything illegal, sneaky, they're going to go to jail. I see that. That is jail. So those of you who did something illegal to a person who didn't hurt you, the universe is all over this, telling you what's coming. So now I'm going to um, switch to the Soul's Journey lesson cards. This is really harsh. I do feel like, yeah, the uh, universe is just going to hold people accountable. I do not understand why people do not realize this. But I guess it would be because people can get away with some negativity for a long time, even years. But as of right now, the vibration we're in, the 2020 and everything going on, the dark side of people are going to be brought out into the open. It's The universe is highlighting the good and highlighting the bad, in case people haven't figured that out. It seems like people haven't. So this is friendship. I understand that it's, a friend is in my life for a reason. So I feel like some of you Leos, you were supposed to learn from these lower energies being hateful to you and trying to take from you and manipulate and trick you. It was your lesson to learn not to be so kind. Don't give your energy to people because you're a nice person and assume everybody is kind like you because that's not the way it works. And they're going to realize their karma as well that they took advantage of somebody who was kind. It's a double-edged sword. Judgment. Ouch. So I understand that everything has, I can't even read this. I understand that everything has its own unique path and challenges. So again, I feel like the, the universe put you and these people within each other for you both to learn. There was two sides of the coin. And the people who went to the dark side trying to hurt somebody, they're, I can't stress enough, they're going to get what they reap. The people who are good, trying to be a good friend and help people, and I feel like the lower people tried to pass judgment on some of the good people. They were like, oh, you're like us. Um, and the universe is saying, no, that's not the way it is. So look at this, happiness. So a lot of you Leos who have good vibrations and put good out to the world, the happiness is coming to you in abundance, times three. I can't stress enough. Your heart is going to be so happy, you're going to voice your happiness to everybody. You're going to be telling everybody how happy you are. Those of you moving into a new um, vibration and moving away from this, the happiness is so close, you have no idea. So close. That is beautiful. Friendship, judgment, and happiness. So for those of you who judged Aaliyah harshly and brought false... Um, entities and manipulation into a good Leo's life, the judgment is going to be the divine. And happiness is coming to those who didn't try to hurt anybody. So now I'm switching to the whispers of the ocean. The first one is life is better together. Seek assistance from your community. Connect with family, friends, or others who will support you. It can be as simple as making a phone call. So this talks about pilot whales go in pods of a thousand. So I do feel like there are a lot of people supporting you, Leos, who moved out of the situation you have. Um, you found people like you, let's put it that way. You found your own kind, and you have no problem leaving these kind of people behind you. And the next one, connect to source. Go within to discover what needs to be done. Create the shift required to attract what you want. So this talks about um, the feather starfish it floats upside down and so a lot of you have a unique quality that other people have tried to ridicule, mock you for, tried to knock you down, telling you you're not good and I can't stress enough some of you have found people like you that accept the difference in you, the unique quality in you, you're going to be around your own kind and you're going to be happy. I see a lot of happy emotion in both those cards. That is so nice. So now we're going to do the Angel and Ancestors. Finish off the reading. Alright, here we go. And the first one of the Angel and Ancestors for you is Spring. See your seeds grow. So I feel like come this spring, you're going to have everything in order. You're going to have the new house. You're going to have the... 
living where you want to live. You're going to have everything. Your money's going to be secure. Your love is going to be secure. And you're going to be in total happiness. Total happiness in springtime. And then the last one is winter. Take care of your needs. Wow. I'm going to read this one because the wolf is always very important to me. I'm big on animals. And the wolf um, is for some of you are... Um, I'm trying to find it in the book. Some of you are loners. You travel alone. You're like an alpha wolf and you don't need other people to make you feel whole in this lifetime. And I get that a lot. But So the people who need other people to feel whole, you kind of don't get along with those people too good because you're not out of the group mentality. You're a loner. You know your strength. And other people don't. So this says, do everything you need to be at your best. Then move your, beyond your fears and limitations. You have an opportunity to me, move beyond your fears. Although you may feel in the dark, get comfortable with being in the unknown and trust that the light within you will sustain you through what you may seem a challenging pr process. Ask yourself what you need to do to feel supported and alive. You may uncover something from your past that you have buried deep. Know that when you unearth it and shed light on it, you create space for miracles. You may feel like a lone wolf right now, but it's time for you to be the alpha. When the winter card arrives in the future po position of a spread or in the last card in a reading, which this is your last card, it can also indicate that the coming winter will usher in important energies with regards to your questions or intentions. And I said that. I do feel like a lot of you feel alone right now. Your uniqueness and the way people have treated you have, have caused you to retreat. But for those of you who put good out in the world, the good karma is coming. You're so very close. Um, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Leo.